Imagine that you are working on a website that hosts many different computer science and competitive programming problems. You want to create a framework to generate random tests for these problems. You want to be able to specify limits for each test element and then generate an infinite number of tests. Let's look at an example. Imagine a problem where the input is an array of strings followed by two numbers. The string length must be between 1 and 10, and array's length must be between 2 and 5, and the numbers must be between 1000 and 10,000. You want to be able to specify these limits to get an infinite number of different tests. The composite design pattern is what you are looking for. The composite is a structural design pattern that combines objects into tree structures to represent part-whole hierarchies. It handles individual objects and object compositions uniformly, allowing clients to work with complex structures and particular objects using a single interface. Let's create a test interface with a single generate method. Then, let's create a range class that implements the test and accepts a range of possible values. After that, let's create a string class that implements the test interface and accepts the range in the constructor. Now, let's create an array class that also implements the test interface. An array accepts the range and an object reference it must contain. Also, to compose all these classes, we need to create a composite test, which implements the test, stores an array of the test objects and has an addTest method. With this class's help, we can now generate multiple random tests in the format we described earlier in the video. First, let's create a string and pass it a range 1 to 10. Next, let's create an array that will accept a range from 2 to 5 and the string we just created. Then, let's create two numbers ranging from 1000 to 10000. And finally, let's create a composite test and add an array and two numbers to it. Since the composite test inherits the test interface, it can use the generate method to create the entire test. When a client calls the generate method, composite test calls generate for each test element it contains, then they do the same. At some point, the process will reach so-called leaf nodes with no containing elements. In our case, composite test will call generate on the array and numbers. The numbers will return instantly, but the array has to generate the numbers from the range get the number of strings it should contain, and then call generate that many times on the original string. There are three actors in this design pattern. The first one, component, defines a common interface for leaves and composite nodes. Leaf and composite are classes that both implement the component interface. But the first one represents the individual object in the composition, while the second represents the composition itself and contains a set of child components. One of the main advantages is its unified interface. It provides a consistent way to work with individual objects and complex compositions. This consistency simplifies client code and enhances ease of use. Moreover, its recursive structure is beneficial for representing complex hierarchical structures in a clean and organized manner. Additionally, the pattern is highly flexible, allowing the incorporation of new components, be they leaves or composites, without any destructive effects on the existing structure or client code. However, this design pattern has its challenges. The introduction of the composite pattern can lead to increased complexity, particularly in the situation involving deeply nested hierarchies. Operations performed on composite objects may require traversal through the entire hierarchy, potentially leading to performance issues. Furthermore, in simpler scenarios, applying the composite pattern may result in unnecessary overhead, complicating the code and the overall design. That's all about the composite design pattern. See you in the next video.